I'm Torai and you're welcome to my channel. Today I would love to show you the tutorials on how to make this pretty pouch with a cute zipper. To make this pouch I'll be using these colors of yarn plus my background color. Make a magic circle. Chain one. Then we're going to make 16 single crochet all around. Insert your hook into the circle, yarn over, pull out two loops, yarn over, pull out one loop. Insert your hook, grab a yarn, pull out two loops, pull out one loop. So you are going to repeat until you have 16 single crochet. Then slip stitch into the single crochet. So we are going to pull this yarn in order to close the circle. Next chain one into each of the single crochet. Make a single crochet into the back loop only. At the end of the row, make the 16th one. Then make a slip stitch. With a second yarn, insert your hook, grab a yarn, pull out, then chain one to this stand as your first double crochet. Then Make a double crochet into the same space. Now to the next stitch, make two double crochet together. Now we're going to repeat these two double crochet together until we reach the end. At the end, we are going to be having a cluster of 16 double crochet now at the end of the row we are going to slip stitch into the chain 2 we previously made with the third color yarn into the same space that we made the slip stitch so we are going to make one two three we are going to make a puff stitch and this is yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull out three loops, yarn over, pull out two loops, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull out, yarn over, pull three then, pull three all through. Chain two on to the next yarn over, skip one double crochet to the next piece, insert your hook, yarn over, pull out three loops, yarn over, pull out two, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, and then yarn over, pull out three, yarn over again, insert your hook. Pull out four, then pull through chain one, two. So we'll be repeating from here to here. That is yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull out three loops, yarn over, pull out two loops, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull out four loops, yarn over, pull three, then yarn over again, insert your hook, yarn over, pull out five, yarn over, pull four. Pull through, then chain two. So you repeat all this until you reach here and chain two. Then slip stitch into the first chain you made. Now I'm going to tuck in this. Next, you'll be making the fifth row. So place a stitch marker in any of the chain spaces then count one two three 
into the fourth chain space, place a stitch marker. Then skip again. One, two, three to the fourth, place a stitch marker. Skip one, two, three to the fourth, place a stitch marker. Now get the yarn you'll be using as your background color. In the first stitch marker, insert your hook, grab a yarn, and then pull out chain one, two, and three. This three chain stands as your first treble crochet. Now yarn over two times, insert your hook into the chain space, pull out four loop, yarn over, pull out three, yarn over, pull out two loops, and then pull out one loop. So inside the same chain space, make another treble crochet. Chain one, repeat the treble crochet three times again. six treble crochet here this is three treble crochet one chain three treble crochet into the next chain space make three double crochet together next chain space make double crochet three times next chain space make a double crochet three times now into the chain space where we have our stitch marker we are going to be making treble crochet three times Then chain one, another treble crochet three times. So, what we are making is three treble crochet, one chain, three treble crochet, then double crochet three times into each of the chain spaces. So, everywhere we have the stitch marker, we are making them treble crochet there then the other spaces will be making double crochet there so let's continue i'll meet you at the end there and uh, we'll make a slip stitch into the first chain that we made to join and one two these two chains stands as your first double crochet make double crochet into each of the stitches that is we have three double crochet now into the chain space, we are we make we will make six double crochet. So this is three, four, five, and this is six stitch. Make a double crochet. Next stitch, double crochet, repeat the double crochet into each of the stitches until you reach the chain space where you'll be making six double crochet. Repeat it, ladies, until we reach the end there. Join with a slip stitch, bind off, and then now we've made four of this pattern. It's time for us to join them together. So for joining, you are free to use any method of your choice, any method that you would like and the one that is most simpler for you. You will need a tapestry needle. Thread your yarn. Get two piece of the pattern you've made. To join them, I'm going to make the fronts to face each other like this. I will be sewing into the back loop only. This the back loop is facing the upper side. These are the back loops. While for this, the back side is facing downward. To join we'll be starting at the middle of the 
six double crochet that we made together previously this is the middle now and for this one this is also the middle to get the middle you just count one two three put your stitch marker for easy identification now I'm going to start okay then to the next stitch to the other one from the back to the next back loop and to the next back loop to the back loop and to the back loop the back loop and to the back loop so i've come to the end of the joining here tuck off and hide the xx yarn okay so the second one and next we're going to make a single crochet all around you can start from anywhere but i'll be starting from here single crochet into all the stitches all around I made a single crochet all around two times and at the end I closed it up with a slip stitch made the same for the two sides now it's time for us to join it together still have my light over yarn here it's not yet being cut off then this is the first side and the second side and now I'm going to place them together I'm going to place it making them face the wrong side the right side is on the inside Identify the four corners and place your stitch marker there. You are going to join starting from here. Go around like this until you reach it. Chain three. And then three, then insert your hook. Yarn over. Insert your hook. Yarn over, pull out two loops, pull out one loop. So the next stitch, mm -hmm. yarn over, and start your hook. Yarn over, pull out three loops. Yarn over, pull out two loops. Yarn over, pull out one loop. Then, pick your hook. Pull this loop through. Repeat. So the next passes through and repeat. So go around until you reach here. This is how I bind off. Make the last double crochet pass it in like this this helps it to look a bit flatter then chain one now tuck in your yarn to begin you're going to count your stitches from this end to this end for this pouch i have 42 stitches here keep it aside we are going to be making a single crochet so here 42 single crochet if yours is more than that you make more stitches or if it's lower than that you make a lesser stitch now grab your yarn pull. chain one this is my first stitch subsequently i'll be making only single crochet push Repeat this until you reach the end of the zipper. I made two here and I made two here, a total of four. Now continue going down to the end now. We are going to join it with a slip stitch. Time to attach this to this. Flip it, making the right side to face each other. 
you can use different ways to attach it i just chained one then so the first stitch this and then half double crochet Continue all around 